New Brentwood office? I am, and I'm slapping because there's no one here, so I get to do it. Oh, I'm coming over there. <laughs> right? And here's the thing. Even if people were there, we would still promote you to have the music on. We used to walk into Climb in Oakland, and Molly would just be there. She, the music would be, she's like, you want me to turn it down, Elias? I'm like, no, 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 no. I want you to turn it up. <laughs> That's uh, let, let's have some fun. Remember that, Wes? It was just atmosphere. You'd walk in, music would be playing, having some fun, bantering. What a cool environment. It, it still exists now. So um, awesome, you guys. We'll go ahead and get started in just a couple minutes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that is already here. We are already at 49, 48 people uh, participating. Thank you to all of our hosts. Kenny, I didn't know that. When you're not on, it allows everyone to be the host and enter. Everyone's getting the notification to enter people into the um, room. Yeah. Uh oh, I like JJ's background there. That's dope. Do you guys see waiting room right now? Um, I don't any longer. Okay. There's no, there's no one in the waiting room right now. Hey, Jeff, right. they said they might uh, do fire sprinkler inspections today. All good. Yeah, so that means that they're going to, yeah, they the, might be here. The water might mess up your hair. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying I might have, ah, shake Man. it. Look at John Gomez. He got way cuter. Did you get bangs, John? <laughs> Did he get bangs? Wait, wait, who is that? Let me see. Hi, sweetheart, how are you? <laughs> Oh, cute. She's representing. Um, so, John Gomez, do you want to start the meeting off with anything that you want to share with us really quick? <laughs> Nothing? Anything you want to say inspirational for everyone? She's like, anything? <laughs> How cute. How cute. All right, guys, we'll get started officially in one minute. Let everyone else get in the room here. Hey, I just wanted Hello. to share a pro, just want to share a pro, pro tip. So I had a broken screen because my phone flew out of my pocket when I was riding my motorcycle one time, and I called around a bunch of places, and they're like, "It's going to cost two hundred bucks to fix the screen," but because I have insurance through Verizon, it only costs thirty bucks, and they came to my house. So if y'all got a broken screen and you got insurance, thirty bucks. What's up? Nice. Very wow. nice. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. All right. So let's uh, give a couple <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> uh, this, this is funny. I'm going to take a picture of John Gomez. There she is. <laughs> She's like, nope. All right, guys. It's officially 1035, and we'll go ahead and get this meeting cracking. Um, good to see everyone's faces. Good to see all of our guests. If you guys are on right now and you're not talking, please put yourself on mute. What's going on? Because I had previously Ophelia. an installment agreement straight out of my ACH. Ophelia, can you put yourself on mute? There we go. All right, cool. All right, let's start that over again. Good morning. Happy Tuesday and welcome to quarter two officially. Um, we have tons of great stuff to talk about today. We're going to do a review and recap of all of your guys' hard work, top producers, top performers for quarter one. And so really excited about this week's meeting. I'm generally excited about all of our meetings, but uh, I love to look back and honor all of your guys' success and see all the hard work and the culmination of everything that has acquired over the last three months. What you guys have done in three months is uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a record for us, but this is going to set the tone for many companies as an example of how to run a company, how to build a team, and how to build a team that is producing at a high level. We'll talk about the numbers in a moment, but I'm super grateful for today's meeting. Um, but let's get right into this today, you guys. I wanted to pull up my screen. As always, you guys, I want you guys to start loading up the chat room, and I want you to start putting all of your wins and your shout outs in the chat also if you are new uh to the team meeting today i want you to drop your ig handles that way we can all stay connected and we can always support each other so go ahead and light up that chat when you have a second that way we can share and like i said stay connected so i appreciate it so let's go into this you guys as always we like to introduce our newest guest 
say hello to everybody. Welcome to the, welcome to the call. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Steffi. Steffi, looks like you have a few guests on the line today. So I'm going to let you start it off and introduce us to your guest. Yeah. Hi. Sorry, I'm at um, an inspection, but um, it looks like Genevieve Johnson, um, who is um, a childhood friend, as well as um, she used to do loans um, before, and she's getting her license um, again. And that's going to be uh, she's taking the exam in June. And so uh, she's open to look um, at our team and what the opportunity um, we have to provide. Um, so Genevieve, if you're on. Hi, Genevieve, you want to introduce yourself really quick? Genevieve, you there? Unmute yourself, Jen. All right, Genevieve. Sorry, Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Hi just there. starting right now. I'm, I'm, I'm scoring good. I'm just feeling good about everything. Really, really ready to delve back into the industry. Super excited. I have a really good mentor, Steph. She's I'm learning a lot so far from her just by listening to her on her calls. Just she's very confident. She's very ambitious. And a lot of that energy is just really passing on to me. Awesome. Awesome. Well, welcome to our meeting. Hopefully you get a good sense of our energy, our vibe, and, and really overall of our, our culture. So uh, welcome, Genevieve. Do you go by Genevieve or do you go by Jen? Jen is fine. Okay, perfect. Well, welcome. And um, who else do we have on the line today, Steffi? All right, so we have another guest from Miss Steffi, uh, Amy Imhoff. Amy, are you on today? Hi, yes, I'm here. Thanks for having me. Hi, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you. Welcome. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm excited to join the team. I've been an independent broker uh, for a oh, couple decades and pretty much been part-time as I've had other passions in the life sciences and kind of delve in that route for a while doing sales and marketing. Um, post kids, ready to dive back in into work and really focus on real estate as my kind of, you know, final career and, and retire awesome. <laughs> in, in, awesome. in when I'm 100. <laughs> Good for you. And you know, what? I, I think for us, this is an ability for you to truly build an asset base, not just help clients, you know, buy and sell real estate, which is obviously, you know, center of our focus, but with DXP, you have ways to really build an asset base. And so really, really happy that you're here. Thanks for attending the call today. Um, I have a guest on the line today, uh, Sasha. Sasha, you want to say hello to everyone? Introduce yourself. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Sasha. Nice to meet everybody. Uh, born and raised in, uh, in the Bay Area, just uh, passed my license test uh, about a few weeks ago and just looking to join a team. I've heard a lot of great things about you guys, so I'm excited to be a part, about, a part of it. Awesome, my man. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you hopping on today. Uh, let's head over to Jackie. Miss Jackie, you have a guest on the line as well today. Jackie, you want to tell us or introduce your guest? Yeah, so Shonda Mayfield, she's basically a hard hitter, Phil Moore. Um, Lee, her her son her um, husband is Kareem Mayfield. He's a boxer in the Fillmore, San Francisco district. And um, I met her when I was at uh, Yoshi's Fillmore Heritage Center teaching home buyer education. She's a realtor. I'm not sure if she's logged in yet, um, but I'm excited to have her see the culture because I feel like she fits the culture of the Bay Area ness. And so, hopefully, when she's on the call, she can introduce herself. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. And, you know, thank you as always of being a great brand ambassador. Um, I had another guest on the line. I don't know if he's on as well. Luis, are you on? Okay, cool. We're going to move on. Kenny, did I miss anybody? Do you have any other guests on the line today? Are we good to move on? All right, cool. So you guys, let's go through some of the wins, some of the shout outs and some of the uh, good energy that's in the in the chat right now. So offer out right now. Wish uh, Viv some good juju. Everyone sent her your good juju. Got in touch with my first IG lead. Great job, Anthony. Cynthia Peterson, win listing and contract. I love it. I love it. Um, Coolest Homes, he didn't put anything about it, but go and check out Patrick at Coolest House. Um, and you'll see a new post that he did, I think about 203K, and he's just dropping some gems, so good stuff. Uh, shout out to Jack, always helping me out. That comes from Cynthia. Cold calling challenge tomorrow, you guys. 
Kyle is putting this on weekly in the office, 9.30 to 12.30. You don't have to be in the office, but you're welcome to come, break bread, enjoy your time in the office and dial for dollars. Herson said that Highland Avenue in San Francisco is live on the market. Um, Herson, if you can't put the details in the chat, that way you can share it with the team. And then it says here, uh, Viv won a buyer client. She's interviewing quite a few agents. So haha, -ha, she won. Great job, Viv. Uh, let's see here. Um, congrats. Shout out to Roxanne for her patience and time with my many questions as a newbie and fast in EXP. Roxanne, you are amazing. Roxanne, thank you for always being a pillar of support for everyone. Shout out to Dewey for whining and dining you when I got beat up in real estate uh, by the real estate gods last week. Good stuff. Congrats to the LS Sasha. I don't know what that is. Welcome, Sasha. Offers out from Danielle. Two contracts closing this week. Uh, love this. Love this. Love this. Awesome, you guys. Uh, four bedroom, three bath. It's a duplex with tenants. Okay, cool. So good stuff, you guys. Um, love it. Love all the energy. Look at that pitch. Is that Eric behind you, Dewey? <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I absolutely love it, man. Love it. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's get right into um, quick teaching moment. What we're going to do is we're going to skip the quick teaching moment for the week. Um, what I want you guys to do is continuously make sure that you're coming to the 12 o'clock huddles with Karina every single day at noon. Hop in her Zoom room. If you have anything that is transactional related, hop in that Zoom room. Also, make sure that you are going through the Oracle channel in Slack. These are direct messages from Karina. These are important updates. That way they don't get lost in the fray of all the other messages in particular channels. That channel is hers. Make sure you're referring to that and make sure you're keeping yourself up to date about important uh, reminders and important, important documentation. All right, now let's get into productivity and new escrows for the week, you guys. We're gonna talk a lot about productivity, a lot about our new escrows. And then obviously we're gonna do a huge recap on our production for quarter one, but let's get right into productivity. Uh, so CSU updates. So this was hours working on your business. Uh, the Savage, Michael came in at number one, right behind him was Danielle at number two, Jack and Paul were tied for number three, and DeAndre White came in at number four. Great job, you guys, for hitting the leaderboard for hours working on your business. Let's move on to hours working in your business. Cynthia Peterson putting in the hours, coming in, at one. <laughs> coming in at number one, love it. Jack right behind her at number two. Michael the Savage coming in at number three and tied for number four spot was Vivian and Weston. Great job, you guys. If you guys are, say again. Bussing. Yes, whatever that was. Moving on, moving on. I'm sorry, what, what was that, bro? I don't know. <laughs> what, what was that? Y'all don't see the, the IG memes where everybody's like, the old people, they pick up like food and they're like, oh, bussing. Never mind. Sorry. Bussing, like busting or bussing or what, bro? All right. Anyways, we're moving on. I had a flow, but thank you, Dewey, for that. I appreciate that. Uh, moving <laughs> back on with the flow. Uh, buyer showings for, for this past week. I know that this number was probably higher. But once again, this is only featuring people that track their stats. So make sure if you guys want to see your name in lights, you guys want to hold yourself accountable to the activities and the time that you're spending working on and in your business, make sure you update CSU. Um, so Jack, once again, coming in at number one, right behind him, or excuse me, tied for number one is uh, Will and Jack. Right at number two is Weston Means Business, Bet on Bowie coming in uh, number three, and then Omar uh, coming in at number four. So really great job, everybody. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you for tracking. Thank you for updating. Like I said, this isn't for Kenny and I. This is simply for you guys to keep yourself on pace with all the activities that you guys are doing. So thank you for continuously tracking and updating Sisu and great job to everybody. All right, now you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into our quarter one review. You guys, what we accomplished in quarter one is nothing short of amazing. What you guys put up in one quarter of the year is what some companies won't even do in the entire year of production. So what we've done is we've ranked in volume, the top 12 agents of the company. So we are going to highlight those agents. We're going to showcase their volume and we're going to take you through the last three months. So um, before we get into that, Kenny, did you want to say anything before we hop into the quarterly slides? Um, 
Yeah, the, the top 12 agents that represent our company right now, uh, being shown these slides, they make up about half the production, which is really impressive. So the 80-20 rule holds true for many companies. So these 12 agents make up half the production. And so far for a whole year, you know, we have about a third of our agents production. So we have really big numbers with just a third of our agents. So we, I mean, we're on track to be a multi-billion dollar company. So, so when we talk about where we're heading, obviously we set a goal early in the year of hitting 500 million. Uh, we're on pace to exceed that number. And some of you are just getting ramped up, right? Some of you are just getting your train moved down the track. So I'm excited to see who is going to be the next round of top producers and who's going to be on next, you know, uh, quarterly review. So without further ado, let's get right into this, you guys. And let me pull up my screen one more time. All right, cool. All right. So, oh, shoot. I'm so sorry, you guys. I got ahead of myself. I've been planning. Let's talk about new escrows for the week before we move on to our quarter, quarter one review. My apologies. Let's go right over to Angelica. She got a flex deal in a contract. Uh, congratulations for 365,000. Angelica, you wanna talk a little bit about this deal? Caca, right. caca, caca. Angelica going once, going twice. All right, we're gonna move on. Uh, we had Angela Rose getting on the board again for 415,000. Angela, are you on the line? I don't see her. Okay, all right. Well, I know Jack is on the line. He got another flex deal in the contract. So Jack, take it away. Tell us a little bit about this uh, 530,000 contract that you just got into, uh, got in contract with this last week. Yeah, sure. Uh, I met them about like a month ago and we saw like two or three homes and then it was like only the second offer I wrote with them. And then, uh, we got it. So that was about it. That's yeah. Love yeah. it. <laughs> awesome. Hey man, congratulations. And listen, when we talk about momentum and putting in the hours and putting in all of the effort behind the scenes, Jack, this is, this is the culmination of all of your hard work that you did behind the scenes, man. So congratulations. Seems like you've picked up some tremendous momentum and I couldn't be more proud of you, man. Thank you for everything that you've done in your business. And, uh, you know, thank you for showing up every single day. Good stuff. Uh, let's ho head over to Steve Hahn. Steve Hahn got in a contract for 575,000. Steve, are you on the line today? Hey, can you hear me? I can. Your mic's a little bit low. If you can uh, just turn up a little bit. But yeah, okay. Is this better? Yeah, totally. Tell us a little bit about this deal. Yeah, so this is um, a friend. I know, knew, know her for about uh, maybe seven years. Um, she recently told me that she's kind of in the market for a condo. So we've been looking for about a month and a half. Um, we wrote about um, two other offers and we were able to lock this one in. Um, we actually wrote on one, a similar unit in the same building complex, but we lost that offer. Um, so I was able to kind of backtrack and ask the listing agent about um, what the winning offer was and kind of base our second offer off, off of that info. So kind of through the training that Team Fast provided, I was able to kind of pick up some tips and tricks just to kind of be more aggressive and was able to win the offer. Good, man. Well, congratulations. I love it, man. And I know that you've been super busy and, you know, Kenny and, and you are working on some opportunities. So uh, so congratulations and job well done. Uh, we're going to head over to Pui. We have Dewey and Peter got in the contract again, forming such a great alliance over there. So uh, Peter or Dewey, which one of you guys want to talk about this uh, contract that you just got into last week? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Corey. Um, she's an UpNest partner, or she was an UpNest uh, referral and uh, originally she was only trying to shop for 400, but we were able to bump up her budget a bit and we got her in contract on the first try. Up next. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, up next, I mentioned that. But you know, too soon to celebrate. You know, how, you know what I gotta say. I, yep. I, I gotta catch up to those boys. The real <laughs> ball. Get for a relationship though. Or relationship. With, with Daniel Donate and, and Michael Roberts. Oh together. yeah, I didn't really understand what it meant when when people were saying relationships matter in this business but it for sure does that's right that's right hey great job you guys i love what you guys are doing great partnership um really like how you're leveraging each other you know focusing on your individual skill sets so really good job peter really good job dewey, dewey. great job uh let's I go shout here. out i got a shout out peter um can you mute your mic um yeah, yeah. i was 
partying all weekend because Eleanor just finished her program. And so he handled all the showings, called me and was like, hey, we have other flex buyers lined up. Uh, sellers are taken care of. And I was like, cool, I'm recovering all Sunday. Don't, don't call me anymore. So <laughs> shout out Peter for taking care of everything. Leverage, man. And we talk a lot about leverage and, and partnering up. And there's a lot of people that join this company. They're like, man, I've never partnered with anybody. And what they find is that, man, it makes things a lot easier. And you get to get two different perspectives with the clients, two different types of energy, and two different types of personality traits. So uh, good stuff to you guys. Really good. We're going to go over to the King of Real Estate. King of Real Estate got into contract this past week as well. My man, talk about this opportunity that you just got into contract on. And that was for 590 yeah, I'm super, super, super pumped on this one because I was getting so sick of working with this dude. Yeah, he's he's such a bitch. Couldn't okay, make a decision to save his life. And, um, you know, after some, like, tough love and, and some, like, okay. advice, okay. I was like, King, really quick. King, I'm going to stop you. Oh, Peter, can you mute yourself? Thank you. Go ahead, King. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a good one. I mean, he was, like, kind of, like, you know, thinking I'm his homie and shit, which, you know, we became pretty friendly, but I'm like, nah, you're my homie. Let's just get this shit in contract so you get out of my life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so on this property, he was like, I don't even want to put an offer on it because it's too cute. It's probably going to go way over. Guess what? Due date came. No one wrote an offer. Guess what? I called him. I was like, yo, it's time to go right now. So we wrote the offer that day. Um, shout out to Patrick. I'm shooting him a little bonus for helping me out showing the property. So I haven't even seen the property yet. So I'm pretty stoked. Thank you, Patrick. You're the man. You're my good luck charm. This is the second one I got in the contract after he showed it. You sexy little dude. I love you. Um, but other than that, yeah, super fucking grateful. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I love that. I love that. And I love the um, I love the little bonus, right? I uh, Jen and I gave Jeff and Kyle. 500 bucks each for a home that they sold. They wrote on, we closed. And so it was a nice little bonus, man. So that's good stuff, Eric. I love that. Yeah, well, I'm giving Patrick a thousand bucks because he's my boy. I take care of my boy. Why don't you put him on the contract? <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to be oh. motherfucker. And he, said he wants to get one on his own. So suck it, Dewey. All right, moving on. We're going to actually go over to Dewey. He got in another contract for 730000 My man, tell me a little bit about this one. Uh, this has been a long time coming since like last September or something. I've been working with my SOI buyers. Um, we've probably put out, I don't know, six, seven offers. Um, and, you know, thank you to Carmen for this one. Carmen put in a good word to Brenda Hernandez. Relationships matter. Again, um, the two contracts that I got last week, both of them were because of relationships, I think. Um, and of course, coaching the client to where they need to be. But yeah, that's good stuff. all I love it, my man. Great stuff. Great stuff. I have a uh, comment on that. Um, yeah. their, their mastermind I was on this week, you know, someone made a really cool comment. His name was C. Cole Payel. He's a, like a coach uh, trainer in New Jersey. You know, they say it's not a buyer's market. It's not a uh, seller's market. It's an agent's market. So now, like, with the number of offers coming in, it really relationships matter more than ever. I know the deal that you, you got in contract with uh, Daniel, I think it's probably our third, is this a, a, the third deal we've done with our team last half year. Yeah, so... You know, and they, every time they we we every time we get in contract, I find out through Instagram because Daniel tags us. I'm like, oh shit! And that's yeah, what we got. Um, so again, like that's why I lean on each other, see who knows who. That, that it goes a long, long way right now. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we're gonna move on. Um, I know Mark is not on, but make sure we tag Mark. Uh, let him know. Congratulations! This was on his listing up in San Anselmo. So give a huge shout out to Mark. Uh, but let's have Kate talk about this. Kate, $800,000, got in contract last week. Let's talk a little bit about this. I'm going to turn it over to you. Yeah, so this was an off market. Um, he posted it in Slack, and I just brought my investor and wrote an offer. And yeah, it's pretty easy. Boom. Awesome. Awesome. So not up against anything else, no competition, just really simple and easy. Yep. Cool, you guys. When, when we were looking at the year-over-year -year numbers, how sales were up, uh, but obviously inventory was down. A lot of that's happening because of off-market opportunities. We talk about this a lot, you guys. You have some huge opportunities to educate, to let the neighbors know, congratulate them on houses that just sold over asking in their area and start to get the word out and find these off-market opportunities. So Kate, great job. Congratulations to you and Mark. Uh, super stoked for you guys. Let's go back into this. 
Um, so we have some first timers and I, I really hope that this person is on the line today. Um, Martha, oh, I missed the A there. Let me fix this really quick. So Martha got into contract um, for a deal that she has been working for months for 1.425. This is her first deal. It's a Zillow nurture lead that she's been working for months and months and months. So Martha, hopefully you're on. Are you on to talk about this transaction? Uh, yeah, I am. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, it's first deal. Um, I'm excited, but there's still a long way to go. It's a triplex in Berkeley. Um, and we're just kind of rolling through right now. Awesome. Awesome. So how did you stay in touch with this lead? Like, what was your, what was your follow-up? Like, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I just, we've only, I've only been working with them for, I think, six weeks, you know, so they were, they were pretty ready to buy. And we just, we went out and we saw properties and this was our second offer. Awesome. I see. Hey, hey, listen, I know Martha has been working hard behind the scenes and like, making calls. I'm like, oh my God, when is this finally going to come to fruition? So, hey, way to start off your career in real estate with a $1.4 million deal. So um, mad love for you. Congratulations. Job well done. We have also another first deal with Molly. Molly, are you on the line today? Do you want to talk? I to am. You? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So, finally. <laughs> yes. Molly, take it away and tell us about this. Okay. So this was a client who I've been working with for a while now. Um, he's a, con he's a contractor and was looking for his first fix and flip project. Um, thank you. I think it was Eric King who referred me to Michael Lopez to do the loan. We decided to switch to a more local lender. So I think that helped. Um, then I basically just tried to become best friends with the listing agent. Um, I kept in close contact with him. Um, and he was old school. So he gave me, he was kind of like an open book, um, and then he told me he usually tries to work with the agent that shows the most interest. And that was me. So yeah, super excited. Um, Karina, thank you. You helped me a lot. Um, and she sent me a to-do list on Asana, which I never, my old brokerage never had anything like this. So I'm so stoked that I'll be able to be organized because I'm not the most organized person. <laughs> Well, hey, congratulations. I know that you've been working really hard. Thank you, Karina, for all of your support, as always. Uh, congratulations. Uh, let's move on to Kyle. Kyle got a flex deal. One of his first leads that he got on flex, got him into contract. Five, seven, zero. You know this dude has been working hard behind the scenes. You see it. So Kyle, without further ado, Please tell us about this deal. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, man, I'm missing my crown, by the way, but we won't go into that right now. So, yeah, first Flex deal was my first ever call uh, as soon as I got into Zillow Flex. But weekend up, we went out and saw like five houses. We wrote, you know, an offer on one, got rejected, wrote an offer on another one, got rejected. And so we decided, man, shit, this market is crazy. So we got to be even crazier. And so we decided to go in on this home. We're like, it's the perfect home. It was the, the one that like fit the bill for almost everything they wanted when we first got started. And uh, we decided to go in 345K over asking with no contingencies and go a little whack in the brain. And hey, you know, push come to shove, it worked out, baby. So, <laughs> and, uh, so now that we got that going, I just got done doing a listing appointment at their house over in Vallejo. So that sucker is coming on the market in two weeks. Let's do it. Yes. You need, yeah. you need that crow story. This morning with Charles Velasco, we don't we don't work some stuff up. Wait, say say that again, Kenny. What would you say? Oh, we need to, we need to hear that crow story. Get Sam with this. Yeah, you we gotta hear the crow eggs. story. Yeah. Eggs with the egg shower. Oh no no no, Kyle. So really quick, while we have everyone on the line, I think it's important you gave us an analogy and a crow story about the little hatching. Uh, so I figured I take this opportunity to share with the masses. So please sure. tell us that. Yeah, no, I'm ha happy to be humble about it and happy to tell you all day. So, uh, you know, as you already know, I'm on the crow squad. And once upon a time, one major crow had a lot of crow eggs, a couple little crow eggs, I believe six. And uh, all of them seemed to hatch except for one little crow, but not today, son. That crow done hatched and it spread his wings. Get out of here. Sorry about that. No. Uh, really, really great job, man. But what I'm going to encourage you to do as we move forward and you move forward in your career, I'm going to need you to give a little bit more energy 
uh, to your business, man. It just seems like your energy level is really tapering off. So please step it up a little bit for, for the sake of yourself and for the betterment of the team. But okay. love you, brother. Really great job to everybody so far. Let's continue cruising along. We have, um, so here's what's cool about King. Obviously, he's a cool guy, as, as you guys can see, but King just closed on his largest deal in his career. And I think this is his second largest deal in his career. So King, want to give you the spotlight, my man. Tell us a little bit about this 1.6 you got in the contract last week. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is my first flex deal, which I'm pretty pumped on. And um, I learned that I applied something that really worked. So we put in six offers and basically they had to take out a first and second loan um, to buy their next house because they hadn't sold their house yet. <clears throat> and we were just getting spanked. We'd go 300, 400 over asking and still not get one accepted because we had to keep our contingencies. And so what I did was I went to the MLS. Um, they were looking specifically in the Oakland Hills. And I um, sent them all the properties that had been sitting on the market for three weeks plus. And sure enough, they liked a couple of them. We went and checked it out. And I was like, yo, we can keep spinning our wheels and going up against, uh, you know, 20, 30 offers or we can go for this house. And they're like, well, it's been on the market for how long? What's wrong with it? I looked at the pest report, zero on section one. So super clean house. It was just a weird layout and didn't really have a backyard space. So, you know, one man's, uh, you know, junk is another man's treasure, right? My clients loved it. We wrote um, pretty much at asking price and got it. So lesson for you guys. I mean, if, if you guys are struggling with some of your buyers, look at the MLS and see what's been sitting on the market for a minute. Um, so yeah, pretty pumped on that. And I'm going to list their house, uh, coming up too. It's a twofer. So I have a house, uh, it's a two one in Redwood Heights, probably list around a million. So if y'all got buyers for that shit, bring it through. And I just got back a video, uh, for uh, that house. I just closed. If you guys don't mind, you want to check it out, premiered on the team fast meeting, or is that going to take up too much time? It's a minute long. Why don't, you post, why don't you post it in Slack? Because the audio seems to be shitty sometimes when we play videos. Yep. We want people to get the full experience. Gotcha. But congratulations, my man. Close your biggest you. one. Got in contract with your second biggest one. Work in flex, man. You know, work in your, your, uh, you know, your squad leader role too, man. So really great job. Really great job. Hey, I just want to say something real quick about that video, not to mess up your flow, but uh, I haven't even seen it. I'm sure it's awesome. And it's, it's from this videographer that we're working on trying to get some team deals with. Um, he's really, really good. He's done some stuff for the team and we're trying to, to put a package together where people on our team can get his services and make cool videos like Eric Hang for a little cheaper because you're on our team. So keep that in mind when you watch it. Heck yeah. So Eric, we're stoked to see it. Can't wait to see it. Um, let's go over to Carmen. Uh, this is a really, really big deal. Obviously, it's the largest deal of the week, 1.7, but this is definitely a milestone for her. So Carmen, I know with gratitude, uh, talk to us a little bit about this transaction because I know you're super pumped about this. What? Uh, thank you, Elias. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I, this is a personal friend of mine and she's, I sold her house on Peterman. And so we've been looking since then, we closed this in February. So we've been looking for quite some time shooting offers really high above asking three, sometimes even 400 over asking price and waiving contingencies. I mean, offering everything, but you know, children at this point, but um, this property ended up coming back on the market. And so we contacted the agent right away and said, Hey, we had seen this already. We didn't, you know, shoot our shop because we figured that, you know, it was going to, you know, go significantly above, would you be open to an offer? And he's just like, yeah, send it over. And the cool thing was, is that I met him when I went to the property initially and showed it to them. So we met and we had like a really cool, like, you know, connection as far as he was really nice to me and stuff. So super helpful and, and, and acknowledged my video that I sent him where, you know, I offered him a car wash or a dog walk. I'm um, just really cool. This guy's obviously been in the business for a long time and he appreciated, you know, all of my um, detail to submit my offer with everything up front, like my approval letter, obviously the normal things, um, but just a little bit about my client as well. So yeah, I was really, really excited for them. They've, they've been looking for a while and getting really discouraged. And I had just literally told her the other day, like, you know, this shit just kind of happens when it's supposed to happen. If you didn't get the other ones, it's because they weren't meant for you. And you're on the waiting list for like the perfect home. So just hang tight. It's about to happen. It's literally when you're like about to lose your wit that it's going to happen. And 
sure enough, when I told them, they just, I literally, the husband was even in tears. So yeah. it's just, yeah, really, really personal for me. Like I'm really excited for them above, above the fact that it's my highest offer written and accepted to date. Um, I'm excited for my clients more than anything. Awesome. Congratulations. And, and you know, I think Kenny said it right earlier. This is an agent's market. You guys are, are the best coaches in the industry right now, right? You guys are in the, the position to coach your clients, to give them their mouthpiece, to give them a little bit more water, to push them back in the ring, to have these check up from the neck up type of conversations to keep them fighting. And uh, you guys are doing a really good job. So congrats to everyone that made the leaderboard. Uh, congrats to Carmen on her biggest deal ever. And uh, let's get into some of the quarterly stats. So really good job, you guys. Um, so you guys, we are going to feature, like I said, we're going to do Q1 top performers. This is transaction volume for pending and close. So it's comboed. So we're going to go right into it and uh, let's go ahead and start. So let's just take a quick look back at quarter one. So in quarter one, top volume coming in at number 12 position was Gurpreet at 4.720. Really great job, Gurpreet. Hopefully you're on. Coming up in number 11 spot was Bet on Boo with 4,797,900. Great job, Kevin. Will, who is one of the newcomers to our company, newcomers to real estate, has a really, really cool backstory and how he came to this country and what he's done for himself, coming in at number 10 at 4.983999. I mean, incredible job to each of you guys. Uh, moving on over to number nine, you have Miss, Miss Kate Hudson coming in, <coughs> excuse me, with 5.8 million, 45,000. Really, really good job, Kate. I know you've been working really hard behind the scenes as well. Uh, let's head over to Donna. Donna came in at number eight with 6,610,000. So uh, Donna's out saving the world. And at the same time, she's still able to put up that level of production. So uh, really great job to each one of you. All right, let's move right on. We have Miss Honey Roxanne Adams coming in uh, number seven position with 6.7 million, 84,500. You know her, you love her. Really, really great job, Roxanne. Coming up in number six position was Mr. Eric King, King of Real Estate, $7,140,000 in volume for just yeah. the first three months. Atta boy, really, really great job. Um, heading over to Julie, not only does Julie create great content, and by the way, let's give Julie a huge shout out because she just got married last week, so congratulations, Miss Julie. Um, so Julie has $7,902,000 in volume for the first three months of the year, but check out Julie's average sales price. Julie's average sales price is the highest in the entire company. It's 1,128,857. So Julie, great job. The best way to get a raise in this business is to raise your average sales price. So a uh, huge shout out to you, Julie, great job. And then coming in at number fourth um, is the second highest average sales price in the company. Vivian had 8.5 million, 30,000. And her average sales price was a million sixty six thousand two hundred and fifty. Uh, really great job, you guys. Let's give them all a giant round of applause. Really, really great job. I love seeing this type of production because when, when you think about other companies, like I said, some of them won't even hit these numbers for the entire year. And look what you guys are doing in the first three months of the year. I will promise you this. Most of you, some of you, a large majority of you are going to have the best year you've ever had in real estate. Some of you are coming off of your best year that you ever had in real estate. Some of you are going to arrive into real estate and be more busy than you ever thought that you could possibly be being a newcomer in this business. And so shout out to everyone so far. Let's get right back into this, you guys. We're going to go to our top three for volume. Top for volume and number three in units, Christina Pineda, she had 14 units, $9,406,030, top volume, top three. So uh, I want to hear from the top three today, you guys. So uh, Christina, you want to take it away for a minute and tell us a little bit about this journey over the last three months. Are you there? 
Christina. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for all the team support. Those people that have helped open the doors, talk to my clients when I haven't been able to. Also, the leads coming in. I couldn't be more busier in my first year of real estate. And it's been an exciting ride. Nice to see a lot of my squad members on those uh, in this top uh, stature. So I look forward to just seeing what else the year has to come. And again, thanks so much, everyone. So, so Christina, for the people that don't know, how many deals did you do total in 2020? I believe I did somewhere between, I think about eight to 10. I'm not sure like actually closed, but um, I it just was, know it was, like it totally- It was 15. It was 15. Oh, okay, 15. <laughs> um, and my goal, my goal this year is 32, which I think I'm gonna hit really early on. Um, so let's just keep it moving, pushing, all that. Keep Ooh. the grind hard. All that That's shit. Right. Us. And Christina did that. Um, she joined our team, I think in June, if not June, then July at the very latest. And she came over from Rockcliffe where she, I think you did two deals there, right? In the last year before you came. I, I think it was like two deals. Oh, oh she's back. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so I, I did do two, three deals at Rockcliffe before I came over. And then as soon as I came over, I mean, I just was like full force. Um, being on Team Fast, uh, Kenny just provided me a lot of the tools and um, sinking me into where I needed to be as far as organization. And um, they just, I mean, it just was, it's been an adventure and it's been a ride. And the support that I've got as far as building my business, I came in telling Kenny, hey, I need help with organization because I'm going to be, you know, I, I have no problem selling but it's just really getting everything in motion so I can be more successful in my business. And that takes organization. So thank you. Christina, really great job. I mean, you've showed up in, in a big way. So congratulations to you making the top three uh, for quarter one. Uh, let's move on to the next person. This person came in number two for units as well as volume. Hey. Mind you, mind you, this dude has been in the business for less than a year. You know him, Uncle Walt came in 13 units, 10 million in production, 117, 262. Mr. Walt, take it away for a minute, my man. We are super, super stoked about it. Let's talk about your journey for the last three months. Uh, thanks, Elias. Um, well, my name is next to the numbers, but it's truly a team effort. Uh, if I start naming people, I'll forget, but I'm gonna try. My mentor, Kate, thanks, Melody, Jack, Kyle. Dewey, I think I've pretty much talked to like half the people on here. So really appreciate the support. It's just a team effort. Um, Will, we started out together. Will and Peter, it's just crazy. So it's all about the team. Appreciate the opportunity. Thanks. Great job. I mean, we've seen people take off in their business, but um, the way that, that you have taken the online leads and really helped to catapult your business and you just have this ability to truly take command and take a, take a, a stance when you're working with your clients. Like when they're working with Uncle Walt, they know that they're going to get educated and they know that he's in control of this, this, this process. So, uh, Walt, you showed up in a big way, my man, and, uh, you know, great things to come. And we're just getting started. That was just quarter one. So really great job. Congratulations to both of you. Now let's get into, uh, let's get back to my screen. Let's go to the top producer for quarter one in volume and units. You guys know her, you love her. Without further ado, Miss Jen Oak. So Jen Oak, did, Jen. <laughs> Jen Oak did 20 units, 15,486,490 in volume, did 20 million all year last year for her running total and has already done 15 million in the first three months of the year. So without further ado, Jen, talk to us about your journey for the first three months of 2021. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, like Walt said, it's like, a, it's a team effort. I couldn't have done it without you, without Kenny, without the agents helping us show on the weekend. So thank you everyone. And congratulations to everyone. I'm looking at everyone's number and it's crazy, like three months in and everyone's killing it. But um, yeah, thank you to everyone. <laughs> awesome. Hey you guys, really, really great job. 
these are no <laughs> Prada bag. This is no small feat. What each of you that have, have reached the top 12 um, in production and volume for a company, thank you for paving the way. Thank you for contributing to the overall success because your success allows future success for this company. It allows us to open up offices, to give great tools to you guys, to hire a videographer. So we appreciate you guys really showing up in a big way and really pushing yourselves and be a part of this culture. So congratulations to everybody that made the leaderboard and thank you for all of your production on a high level. Um, so let's get into this. Kenny, I'm gonna let you do this slide. I, I would feel a little uncomfortable doing this slide, uh, but I wanted to have Kenny introduce this. Uh, because we're right there with you guys. We'll never ask you to do something that we wouldn't do ourselves. So, uh, Kenny, if you could take it away and talk a little yeah, bit so about this slide. These are the, the stats for our, our leadership team. You know, our, you love them. Our director of sales and coaching, uh, Elias, came in with 10 sides for the year at $7 million. So not only is he helping support agents, you know, helping sharpen in this act, but he's also out there constantly on the field, uh, you know, upping his game and, tell, and practicing what he preached. Maybe you could kind of speak on like how you're managing these deals, your life and and with the team and everything else that's going on. It's it's leverage, you guys. It's it's I, I couldn't do it without a partner. Um, you know, Jen has been super instrumental and then forming great relationships. Like right? I formed a relationship with my old mentor um, and uh, from Coldwell Banker. I got the opportunity to get on landed and um, I've closed a few deals with that. We formed a relationship with somebody that used to be a client through highrises.com got lead sources through them. And then we got quite a few referrals as well. So uh, for me, it's about leveraging the team and leveraging Jen. Um, and, but being able to say, you know what, I want to do this because I want to be better for you guys. And I want to be able to give you guys real life experiences. So uh, yeah, I appreciate Jen more than she knows. And, um, you know, thank you guys for all your support. Let me get, put the screen back on. And John, John had a, a record uh, April. Wait, the number just, <laughs> John. So John, uh, John had I think four or five deals this month. Maybe John can speak about what your experience is like. Yeah, it's been good. I, I've had a good April. A lot of that is pending volume. Um, I'm, I have a counter out right now that would make it $7 million pending that would, or sorry, $5 million pending that would all close in April. But uh, it's been, it's been fun. It's, I feel like, you know, I've been in the business for seven years and I feel like it's just years of experience and, and, you know, the people that I've met along the way, it's all starting to pop. Uh, getting deals off of Instagram, getting deals from most of my business sphere. Um, and like, you know, Elias and everyone was saying, it, it really does feel like it's relationships and the effort that you're putting in is really making a difference. Uh, everything I have pending right now on my two listings, it's both agents that I've worked with in the past that are representing buyers. Um, and I did what I could. I mean, obviously you have to have the best offer, but I did what I could to, to get an agent on the other side that I knew was going to do a great job. And then on uh, all of the buyers I had, it's like, you know, you just do everything you can, like someone was saying earlier, to, to show the most interest and establish yourself as the agent you want to work with. So when you are close, I mean, I think two of the three, two of the three buyers I had, it was a situation where it's like, well, we could multiple counter, but we're calling you first. And if your clients can do this, then we're just going to counter you and let's get in contract. And we were able to stay out of those multiple counters. So really just build those relationships. And over time, like they, they'll, they'll build on themselves. So I'm just happy to be here. You know, and, and John, you know, great job. And you have, I think you've built really good relationships in your market. And Kenny and I joke about this sometimes. Sometimes in these leadership roles, if you go to like an old cold old banker, you know, some of these people have been in their roles for like 20 years. They used to be a top producer in the early 20, or 2000s. We want to be relevant for you guys. We want to go through some of the same struggles that you're going to because it's going to make us all better as a collective wisdom. So John, really great job. Let's go over to the Oracle. You know her, you love her. She's also doing business uh, as well. She's a master at the contracts, master at the transactions, uh, and she's on the leaderboard as well for leadership production. So uh, the Oracle, wanted to turn it over to you for a quick, uh, you know, hello and, and a statement about the first three months of the year. Who's Oracle? Yeah. That's Karina. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dewey. Uh, yeah, so as many of you may or may not know, I do not really enjoy selling real estate. It's something that I'll do every once in a while to help out good friends of mine, and it's becoming a more and more common occurrence. 
But fortunately, I was able to partner up with Will, and he was my boots on the ground, able to show property, able to, you know, build that connection with the listing agent. So we had so much fun with that one. We're doing it again <laughs> for other friends of ours, and we're hoping to get another offer accepted this morning. Um, so, so yeah, <laughs> I see Will. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's been, it's been a wild ride. It's obviously hard to, to balance everything out. And, you know, I want to make sure that I'm um, fully there for you guys. But it also is, like, like Elias said, it's great experience to, to kind of keep doing some sales here and there. You know, I always learn something from every transaction. And uh, hopefully it helps me be a better mentor to you all. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you. Great job, John. Great job, Karina. Great job to everyone that made the leaderboard. Um, you know, excited for each of you and thank you for all that you contribute to our company and to our brand. Um, so we're gonna move right along. Um, let's take a look at this, you guys. I, I'm really, really amazed by this slide and, and here's why. Right now for closed escrows, we have over 95 million and 132 slides, or sides, excuse me. Our average price point right now is uh, 725,000. Last year alone, in 2020, we did $126 million for the entire year. Um, obviously, we are on pace to absolutely crush our year-over-year -year numbers. Our pending escrows right now are at 71 million, 95 sides. Last week alone, you guys put up five escrows over 1 million in one week, and we posted $13 million in production uh, for pending volume in one week. So. Uh, I want to give everybody a huge round of applause and congratulations. Those types of numbers are absolutely incredible. People putting up the biggest numbers in their career. The first deals that they ever got were over a million. Um, there's people been in this business for years and years and years that are just now hitting that million dollar mark. So congratulations to everybody. Super exciting to see this type of numbers and this type of production. Um, so I wanted to go, uh, Kenny, did you want to talk anything about this before we move on? Yeah, I want like I was like it's just so like people are leveraged like a lot of the big numbers on the screen. People are partnering up on certain deals. You know, like our leadership team is able to do deals because of leverage. You know, like when you're a really good agent, what do you want to focus on is lead gen. And if your company provides you leads, then great. Uh, but do, do lead gen, be able to provide a high quality uh, care standard. I learned that um, term from Chris Lim and many other uh, top agents. You know, the whole point is doing a really good job. Like Karina didn't have to show any homes, but uh, yet she's able to deliver a really, really great service a uh, walking, you know, holding hands with a brand new agent, with her, her client. So as you're kind of growing your business, talking to more people, you, you do want to focus on like your the easiest business, which is probably your referrals, but you still need to build up a pipeline of like longer stuff that takes a little more work. And this is where like partnering with other agents uh, is so effective. I've literally built my entire business partner with agents. I looked at my calendar today, you know, running a sales team selling hundred homes a month. I've shown, I've shown three clients homes this year. You know, I did almost all my work in, in the computer or hopping on, you know, Zoom calls and stuff. <clears throat> so partnering with agents or, or, you know, or leveraging showing agents, but find ways to work together and you'll get more done. That way the client gets a better response from you. You can take on more things. The, the responses come at different times and you can really, really grow your business. And, and you know, when you're like Elias and some people like are worried, worried about referral fees. Well, Elias deals pay, you got to pay landed or you guys pay Zillow. Well, the next person that comes in, you don't pay anything. Like, I don't even know who your clients are that, you got from Zillow, <clears throat> but that's your lifetime relationship and your in your business building. You think like someone like Wall coming in with 14 deals in almost in a quarter that, that he's ahead of many agents three or four years in the game because they they are their egos. Oh, I'm gonna do this by myself. Yeah, great. Well, you're still having done 14 deals in three years. So like you know you want to leverage. You do want you really want to do more deals to help more clients get in front of more people, get more reveals, get more social media content, and really really build that business uh, from the base up. Awesome. Awesome. You guys, let's do this. Let's get into our fast story of the week. Um, so I'd be remiss not to, to make this the fast story of the week. So Carmen's been in this game since 2004, and this is the highest price point sale that she's had in her, her entire career. Um, so I know Carmen, you spoke a little bit earlier. Uh, anything else you want to add to this? I just want to congratulate you and make sure that we highlighted you for the fast story of the week. Anything more that you wanted to add? No, caught me off guard there. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm really grateful for this opportunity for sure. Awesome. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you. All right, you guys, moving on. 
Um, so what's happening this week? So a couple things that you guys are going to notice, uh, Kenny and I are going to do, uh, we're going to do pop-up trainings. What we mean by that is that we're going to pick a topic and it's not going to be too formal. Like, all right, hey, let's do a social media audit or let's do this particular uh, you know, subject. And we'll put that on the calendar, put it on Slack, just to let you guys know. So we're going to do more of these, you know, kind of impromptu pop-up style trainings. We might leverage some of the squad leaders to come in, talk about conversion, video, whatever the case is. So you're going to see a lot more of these pop-up trainings uh, in this next quarter and moving forward. So we're super stoked about, um, you know, releasing these pop-up trainings. So make sure that you guys are looking at the calendar so you guys know what's going on. Uh, Johnny Boy, you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on in in uh, Brentwood as well as in uh, Hercules and kind of give us an update on the office statuses. Yeah, Brentwood's really coming along. You know, people have been working out of there for like the last week, but we just got the doors blocked out yesterday. Thanks again, Kenny, for springing that. It was really, really cool. Space is starting to come together. And then, you know, accessories and finishing touches are going to start to be arriving this week and next week. And then it's pretty much done. Um, Hercules, we've been talking about it for a while, but we're, we finally are at the point where I think it, we can almost call it official official. Um, Kenny should be signing the actual lease. You know, it's, it was a lot of negotiation. Kenny was joking with our agent, like, do commercial deals always take this long? Uh, but we're dealing with new development here. So there's some, some additional factors there, but Hercules should be locked in soon. And then Kenny and I are going to Hayward again today um just to kind of confirm some space and, and and get that going but yeah hey where we the space we we thought we wanted someone else is negotiating that too and they want the one next door and then the restaurants or food they want to be closer to the edge or the piping so it's been really weird so we're going back out there at three o'clock today to, to to look at our options from the other six or seven spaces available uh but every so far like that that location is moving forward we just uh haven't locked in the actual um the the space itself yet but, but that should be like up and running by, I'm thinking September. Is it, All these delays are not from us, it's from the, the actual developer themselves. Yeah, you guys know how it goes with new development, but yeah, I'm super excited about Brentwood and I, I can't wait until you know later in the year when we can actually do a proper grand opening and have a party there because we're definitely making a splash in that market. And, and John has extra of the vinyl wrap. So if you see his phone wrap, portions of his car wrapped, his pins wrapped, things within the Walnut Creek office, just know that he had some of that leftover vinyl. So you might see some things around your environment that are wrapped in the vinyl. So we're going to wrap Eric King's car next. Right. That's right. No, that looks sharp. <laughs> all right. Good stuff. You guys, good stuff. John, I appreciate all your hard work and everything that you're doing on the, on the operation side. So like we want to hear this, you guys, we want to hear what were your biggest wins in quarter one on and off the field? Um, you know, we want to hear like, what are the things that you're really happy about that you accomplished in Q1, I, I, whether it's business and personal. So I want you guys to load up the chat right now about personal wins on and off the field, business wins, obviously. So let's go ahead and load up that chat right now. Feel free. Ooh, Jen with the took a weekend off. I know how important that is to you. <laughs> Launching my videos brand and most importantly, partnering up with Eric. Um, and Team Fast. Good stuff, my man. Surf for the first time in over 10 years. I love it. Business, personal win e uh, equaled joining Team Fast from Cynthia. I love it. Uh, made some great friends and amazing team members from Walt. My brand launch from Anthony. Awesome. Good stuff. What else, you guys? Joining Team Fast. Terry said that. Uh, still trying to get my business wins, but my son was accepted to four colleges so far. Atta boy, I love it. Uh, Kevin and Amy booked our honeymoon flights. Awesome. Took my wife, told my wife she can cut back her hours. Good stuff, Walt. I love that. Um, getting organized. Melody said that with some enthusiasm. Um, Molly first still ever over a million dollars. Really, really good job, Molly. Congratulations. I'm loving this. Anything else? Um, seeing my improvement in a big way. Um, I love that. Uh, Paint the fence, sand the floor, et cetera. Uh, if you guys come to group coaching, you'll know exactly what he's talking about. Uh, let's see, personal win, back in the pool. I'm a water baby, I needed it. Rebecca said, went on my first solo trip, getting offers accepted in this crazy market. Daughter is officially a nurse. Love that. Lee Pond, Lee Pond brought me a 1031 client that has several exchanges coming up. No other company provides that, amazing leads. Darren says, buyer hit me up on social, ready to buy, paying off credit cards from a Melody. Great job. Oh man, I am absolutely loving what I'm seeing here. 
Listening presentation set for Friday off of social. Good job, Joaquin, because your social game has been on point lately. Loving all your TikTok videos you're putting out. Anything else? First home and contract and listing for Mr. Unit. Good job. Coming with that fire content too. Loving it. Jeff Phillips said he's back working out. Been laying bricks for my business. Starting to see a wall. Man, we're starting to see it too, Jeff. Seriously, man, all the things you're doing, your, 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 your vernacular, your presentation skills and group coaching, man, all come in full circle, man. Really, really great job. Show me paint the fence. Show me sand the floor. Absolutely loving this stuff. Really good stuff, you guys. Um, cool. Awesome. Anybody have anything that they want to share before we head out today? Anything they'd like to say? Anything they'd like to provide on this meeting before we head out? Open the Can floor I say up, something, Elias? You don't have to ask, Cynthia. Feel free. Okay, please. awesome. Um, I just want to share how appreciative I am of this team and the squad that I'm on and the leadership. It's incredible and it's totally changed my business around. I appreciate you guys so much that I want to have everyone over in my backyard on the 24th for tacos and tequila. I want to get to know you all. Just stop by whenever. I'm going to post um, a little invite on Slack, but I just, I just love y'all. So thank you. That's I, all. Love it. I love it. And hey, thank you for, for all the energy and, and, and the fire that you bring to this team. Appreciate you. Um, who else? Anybody else have anything that they want to provide or Hi. share? Hi. Hi. It's my first time in your guys' meeting with you here. I'm at the Brentwood office. It's Brian. Oh, what's up, Brian? How are you? <laughs> I know. I came into the Brentwood office to uh, meet with somebody and I was like, oh, that's so cool. It's your team meeting too. I didn't even think about it, but just wanted to hop on and say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, good. we're going to blast music right now and have a party it in here. You guys good, are good, good. Love it. Well, make yourself right at home. Our casa su casa, right? Thanks, guys. Uh, anybody else have anything that they want to share before we head out? Elias, yeah. can... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Ladies, first, Elias, can I ahead. say thank you? Thank you so much. I wanted to take a moment to thank Julie. She's probably on her honeymoon. I don't know if she's on her yet, but the amazing um, Canva that she's been able to provide us to all those that just to drop in. Those are things I don't know if we've all had a chance to say thank you to her, but she has been amazing with all that and just wanted to say gratitude there for sure. Thanks, Julie. Beautiful. Love it. I love it. King. I was just going to say, I feel very grateful to be surrounded by all y'all and, and these team meetings definitely get me fired up. Um, congratulations, Kyle, Martha, and all you other new agents that got in the contract. That's a huge deal. Um, so stoked for you guys. It's definitely inspi inspiring. Let's go. You Love it. I love it. I love it. Anybody else have anything they want to say, provide before we head out today? I just, yeah, wanna, just oh, go ahead, Juanique. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, you guys are just super motivating. I am totally like pumped and excited to be a part of this team and continuing to watch you guys like grow. I've been there since before climb days, and you guys are kicking ass. Like, good job, everybody. That's all. That little laugh is the cutest ever. I know. She's telling me. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who else was about to say something? Oh um, yeah, just just real quick. Yeah, so um, I swear I'm not just like relentlessly self-promoting. The the video that I just shot, uh, it was an interview with the guy who originates 203K loans. It is so packed with good stuff. It's a long one. It's like 40 minutes, but I went in sort of knowing the answers to a lot of the questions. So I, I, we, I, I asked the questions to cover a lot of ground. So if you've ever been curious about the 203K loan, you don't have to take my word for it anymore. You can hear it straight from the source. And uh, there's a ton, a ton of good stuff in there. So go ahead, check it out if that's something you're interested in. Awesome. Love it, Patrick. Anybody else? Going once. Squad leaders, no. Going twice. All right, you guys. Hey, listen, I, I want you to make sure that we're really hyping up this meeting on social making sure that we're tagging everybody, uh, really showcasing what you guys have achieved in one month uh, of business, you guys. Uh, like I said, it's nothing short of amazing. I appreciate each of you, what you guys are doing. I appreciate the development and the growth of the squad leaders. Thank you for, for Kenny, for giving back to us and giving us these opportunities. And, you know, I appreciate you guys believing in us and really taking this ride with us. So uh, before we head out, Kenny, anything that you want to say before we head out and close out the I mean, meeting? We're, we're crushing. I mean, we're short on... We're, we're we're either going to be number, top three ESP teams. I'm super happy about that because my one of my mentors, Dan Beard, did 160 million, and we're at we're right there. Uh, and then we have more uh, potential because just uh, the, more people. 
Um, but if you guys are not aware yet, if you want to be on the leads program on Zillow Flex, we're, we're doing really well. We have about 300 leads coming in the month right now, and we have about 30 people, but every month we're going to add more. So by June, we'll probably have 400 to 400, 400 leads. And I don't think we'll have enough people. So it's a lot of opportunities. On Zillow Flex, we ratify $10 million in business two months straight. Our average uh, sales price on Zillow Flex is about nine, a little over 900. So just a huge opportunity for everyone that wants to uh, get your business going. I mean, Walt, I think maybe 10 of the 14 deals were, were Flex. Again, and then remember, those, after that, that's your relationship. That's your business, uh, not our company's business. So we, we are looking for more people to get on that program. They've been activating a lot of new areas for us. Uh, like randomly, they gave us South San Francisco and Vallejo. Just a little bit, though. Clayton, Danville, Piedmont. So just a lot of opportunities. So you guys, thank you. I'm super, super grateful for everybody on this call. Thank you for everything that you represent. And uh, we just really appreciate you guys and, and appreciate all your hard work. So go out there and crush your quarter, crush your day, you guys. Thank you. And congrats to all of the top producers. What's up, Dewey? I'm sorry. Um, so I, from freaking climb days, I closed a Zillow lead from the lead pond. And he just called me yesterday and said, hey, can you come back and sell this condo now? So Let's get it. Full circle, right? Full circle, brother. Good stuff. Good stuff, you guys. Thank you once again. Congratulations to all of our Q1 top performers. Looking forward to featuring new people for Q2. Uh, so thank you guys. I appreciate you all and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Elias. Bye, guys.